Let's look at question 6a. It says the scale on a map is 1 to 25,000. You must determine the actual distance in kilometers represented by 0 0.5 centimeters on the map. Now, remember the 1 to 25,000 means that when you measure 1 centimeter on the map, say between two points, it could be between two buildings, when you go to the actual town, it will be 25,000 centimeters. The distance at the place is 25,000 times longer than the corresponding distance on the map. So that's what it means, all right? No, 0 0.5 centimeters. <coughs> when you see 0 0.5 centimeter on the map, at the place, it is actually 0 0.5 multiplied by 25,000. Right? And 0.5 times 25,000 is 12,500 so that's 12,500 centimeters the actual distance but then they say they want it in kilometers so what are you going to do well you know that one don't, don't try to convert it directly from centimeters to kilometers go from centimeters to meters then from meters to kilometers one centimeter is equal to or one meter i should say one meter is equal to 100 centimeter remember cent means hundred per cent per hundred 100 runs in cricket that is a century someone lives to 100 years that is a centenarian so cent 100 100 centimeters make one meter right now what you have is 12,500 centimeters how many meters is that how many meters does that contain notice when i say centimeters here it's the big number 100 when i say meters it's a small number so converting it to meters the one number should be smaller in other words since the meter is longer there are less of it in this in the equivalent of centimeters so i'm going to have 12,500 divided by 100 now what i have is 125 meters all right so remember 0 0.5 times 25,000 that's 12,500 centimeters I want meters I divide it by 100 I get 125 meters kilometers now I know that 1 kilometers 1 kilometer contain 1,000 meters so kilo means a thousand there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So, I have meter here. And uh, this is implying that when I say meter and I call a big number, then the equivalent in kilometer, then I call a smaller number. I will have to divide to convert it to kilometers, divide by a thousand. 
or I could say since one kilometer is one thousand meters in order to find one meter I divide by a thousand and I have one thousandth of a kilometer to make one meter so if I multiply this by 25, 125, 125 over 1000 equals the 1 meter that I have here become 125 meters and this side is in kilometers. Now 125 over 1000 is equal to 0 0.125 so it's 0 0.125 kilometers that I have here right so that's part one of question 6a